Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, first of all, welcome. My name is Divinia, I'm from Malaysia and I'm currently a mechanical engineering student in France. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the house and why I chose my current engineering school. So if you're hesitating between the choices, I hope this video comes in handy to you. But let's go way back because what is a Malaysian doing studying engineering in France? So when I finished my high school in Malaysia, I received an opportunity to come to France and study engineering. So I left Malaysia at 18 for France and I spent my first year in this small little city in the center of France called Tours where I learned French intensively to get me to a B2 level and I also had engineering subjects that are part of the French baccalaureate program. After that one year of preparatory classes, I did a two-year technical degree in the northern part of France this time called Le Havre where I learned mechanical and production engineering before finally enrolling in my current engineering school in Compiègne. So at the end of this program, I would have done five years of engineering, which is what it takes to become a certified engineer in France and graduate with the French engineering degree, which is called Le Diplôme d'Ingénieur. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the three deciding factors that led me to make this choice. Let's go. So point number one is the freedom to carve my own engineering profile. Now UTC is part of the UT group, which has three engineering schools in France, UTC, UTT and UTBM located in different cities. Now all these schools share the same system and what attracted me to it was the fact that students are allowed to choose their own subjects every semester which is not the case in the majority of engineering schools in France. Now early on into my engineering degree, I did not know exactly what I wanted to do but I knew what I definitely did not want to do. So this system allowed me to spend a lot more time on the subjects that I was really interested in and I didn't have to waste my time on subjects that I knew I was never going to like go into, I was never going to touch once I was done with this degree. So I would say that this system redefines engineering in the sense that it goes way beyond what's technical but rather it emphasizes the engineer's ability to contextualize, to grasp complex problems and to adapt in every given situation. So all in all, I was able to focus on the subjects that I was interested in and I was also able to discover new subjects and most importantly for me, I didn't have to waste my time on subjects that I had completely no interest in. Point number two is the student life in Compiègne. In terms of student associations, the quality of life, and the living costs in Compiègne. So let's start with the student associations. Now UTC has over a hundred student associations ranging from sports to dance, to theater, to engineering clubs, environmental clubs, anything. And since the city is relatively small, a lot of the activities that are organized internally are by the students for the students. There are also flagship events held annually, for example, the Spring Music Festival, which welcomes about 10,000 people each year. You also have the Orientation Month, which is really fun. It's something like Harry Potter, where you are like split into four different like four different types of houses and you complete challenges with your friends and teammates to win the trophy at the end. My favorite event is called Yutesien, which I vlogged about. It is basically an entire evening where the university privatizes a theme park in France called Parc Asterix and students are allowed to go test out different rides, there are concerts, there are dance performances, it's a huge big party. So all in all, I would say that student life is amazing. You're never bored at UTC. Now let's talk about the quality of student life at UTC. So you rarely have classes from 8 a.m. to 5 or 6 p.m., which is in, which is the case for most of the engineering schools in France. And this is because since the students choose their own subjects, not everyone has the same timetable. So time management is something that you will get good at during your journey at UTC because you have to be disciplined enough to follow your own timetable and to work on your revisions, your tutorials, tutorials and your projects out of class hours. So you will become highly autonomous, which in my opinion is an important skill to have. So if you want to check out this video that I did on what a week in my life looks like at UTC, 
be free to do so. I take you with me through my different classes in the week and show you what it's like to be a student at UTC. But just a little disclaimer, this video was shot during the partial restrictions for COVID, so I did have a few online classes at that time. And now moving on to the living costs in Compiègne. Now Compiègne is a small French city, so I would say that rental, food and transportation are very much affordable. For those of you who don't know, if you're a student in France, you get to apply to the GAF, which is a government association, and it gives you subsidies on your rental, so you pay a lot less than what you're expected to pay. And in Compiègne, transportation is free. Another plus point is the fact that you are only 40 minutes away from Paris by train and if you purchase the regional card, you get to do a to and fro trip for only 15 euros. This video is not sponsored by SNCF. And point number three is the academic excellence of UTC. Now, the UT group has a very holistic approach towards engineering. There are three types of subjects that you have to take each semester, scientific knowledge, technical methodology and social science. And the UT group takes social sciences very seriously. For example, throughout my three years, I was able to do subjects such as Spanish, Italian, graphic design and economics. And you have subjects that range from marketing all the way to art history. So I would say that it's very holistic, effectively, and it's what makes UTC special. UTC also offers very interesting majors. For example, in my case, I was very much drawn to the industrial design major where it pretty much takes into account ergonomics, product design, user experience, as well as innovating techniques. As someone who needed to be part of the technical world as well as the marketing world, I could actually see myself in this industrial design major. So in my second year at UTC, I started to major in industrial design and I learned so much from the teaching team. The professors are incredibly encouraging and supportive and I've got to learn so much from all the different types of projects that I had to do during my major. And I also had the opportunity to do not one, but two product development internships with a cosmetic group. Which brings me to my next point, opportunities. Now I'm gonna talk about the opportunities that come with studying at UTC. So if you enter as a third year student like I did, you will have the opportunity to do two six month long internships throughout your entire three years at UTC, which is a lot longer than most of the engineering schools in France. I can't stress enough the importance of having good industrial experience because before my first internship, I was quite frankly lost. I did not know what I wanted to do with my engineering degree and I was lucky enough to love the job that I was doing during my first internship which then allowed me to land my final year placement in the same field. UTC is a big engineering school and the UT network is vast. So you find UT students everywhere, especially in partner companies. And what's cool is during the internship hunting period, you get a lot of offers coming in from different companies, especially multinationals in the automotive industry, in the cosmetics industry, in the energy sector, as well as the construction industry. So all in all, it's great exposure, you gain a lot of experience, and you equip yourself with a year's worth of experience before even landing your first job. And now that I'm in my final year of my engineering program at UTC, I can say with full confidence that the factors on that I based my decisions on were all accurate. I finally found myself in this big world of engineering. I found my passion in product development. And above all, I got to spend my last three years of engineering surrounded by amazing people. Now, engineering is a challenge. It can be really, really hard. But when you're surrounded by people who are like-minded and who are so supportive, it makes the biggest difference in the world. Yeah. So thank you for making it this far into the video. I hope that it helped with your decision-making process. And if you did like the video, please feel free to give it a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to my channel. That's all for today. Ciao!